guys it's damari and i'm back with another video before i even get into this video y'all gonna be like she's so overdrawn it but my hair is kind of looking a mess and this is my hair from when i did my graduation or when i had my graduation and that was june 10th and i can't really think of what today is but li listen it's time for it to be done but i get it done tomorrow so this is my last day of looking crazy but anyways i'm really excited because i'm back again and it's not like two months later i know crazy i'm actually like really sticking to this posting consistently thing so that leads me into my next point if you have any specific days that you would prefer that i post leave them in the comments down below because i am trying to come up with an uploading schedule just so that i could commit to making videos consistently because if i have a schedule then i could be like okay on wednesday i'm gonna record on thursday i'm gonna edit and i'm gonna post this video so then i won't even have the chance to get behind so if you have a specific date that you have in mind for me to post leave it down below so that i can take that into consideration when i'm making my upload schedule but anyways i've talked for long enough so today's video is kind of going to be similar to my diy shirt video just in the sense that it's a diy clothing hack or whatever except i'm gonna be trying it with jeans and i'm gonna do the little trend where they bleach one side but not the other so it's kind of like a color block look but um on jeans so i'm really excited to see how it comes out before we get into the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe so you can see all the new things that i post and that's it let's get right into it okay so the first thing you're gonna need to start out with is a pair of jeans these are just some hand-me-down jeans that i got from one of my male cousins these are the jeans i'm going to be using today you can use any pair of jeans but you should make sure that the jeans are kind of dark just so that you can tell the difference between the dark side and the light side after you bleach them so for this first part you're gonna need some duct tape any duct tape will do y'all my nails need to be done, chill on them. But what you're gonna do is just take your duct tape and tape off the side of the jeans that's gonna stay the same color. So I'm gonna make it this side. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make it this side that stays the same color just because this is the easiest side to do. And once you're done, you can just cut it. Like I said, any duct tape works. You just wanna put it like this so you kinda have a border or barrier between the bleach side and the non-bleach side. So I'm gonna flip over my jeans and do the same thing to the back. And you can double up the layers if you just really want to make sure it's secure but i think i'm just gonna put one layer simply because these aren't like my favorite jeans or anything like that i would suggest getting like lower price jeans or just jeans that you're okay with getting messy or you're okay with getting messed up because you never know how it's going to turn out i'll be back to show you guys the process of me bleaching it because i'm going to bleach it outside not inside so i'll be back when it's time to bleach the jeans okay guys so i'm just taking a regular spray bottle you can really use any empty spray bottle that you have as long as it has nothing else in it and some bleach and this is in my basement sink so that like if any spills out or anything it won't mess up anything around it why the sink looks all basement-y because yeah it's my basement sink, but I'm just gonna pour it in the spray bottle and then I'll start bleaching the pants. Okay, so I have moved outside to my back porch to actually bleach the pants just because it's a smart idea to do it outside so you have better ventilation and you're not inhaling all of the bleachy chemical fumes. So I'm about to put the pants leg that isn't getting bleached in a plastic bag. I saw a lot of people who did this idea do that just to ensure that the other side really doesn't get any bleach on it. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back. I also forgot to mention that I do suggest wearing a mask during this process because the smell of bleach is really strong and because you might be spraying your jeans for a while, you don't wanna be inhaling it for that long. 
also my hair did change i recorded the intro and outro yesterday so if you're wondering why that's why but let's hop straight into this bleaching Okay, so now that I have the side of the jeans that isn't getting bleached in the bag, I'm going to take my bleach and I'm going to start spraying this side down so it can kind of get that lighter, closer to white color. So I just got done with like the little first spritz of the bleach and it kind of looks like it's kind of giving me cloud vibes. Let me put on my mask. It's kind of giving me cloud vibes. I think it's just because some parts, because of the spraying technique I was using, some parts got more bleach than other parts. So I'm definitely going to let this sit for a second. But as you can see, the jeans are definitely lighter than they started out. And I'm really liking them so far. Like I can't wait till they're like all the way like this color, like super light. I might have to put some more bleach, but I don't know. Only time will tell. So I'm gonna let them sit for a second and then I'm gonna come back to them. Also, if you don't like the smell of bleach, I would definitely recommend wearing gloves on your hands. But I like the smell of bleach, so I don't really care about it being on my hands. It didn't get on my hands that much, but if you're really, really serious about the smell of bleach, then definitely wear gloves. But let these sit for a second, and then I'll be back. It has been about three hours since I initially sprayed the bleach on my pants. And as you can see, the bleach bled onto the other side a tiny bit, so my tape barrier wasn't that great, obviously. I'm not that mad about it only because, um, I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, but I did use jeans that weren't my favorite, just so I could test this out for the first, um, oh my gosh, I'm outside, so the bugs are coming to the light on my flash, but I did use this um, method on a pair of jeans that weren't like my favorite pair of jeans so I'm not that mad about them not coming out exactly how I pictured them but I think it looks pretty cool I'm gonna wash them to get the bleach out of that side and then they should be done so I'll come back to show you guys the final results when I'm done okay guys so it is the next day and I just took the jeans out the dryer that area right here that I said was going to be messed up did kind of get messed up. And I think the amount of bleach that I put on it kind of made it look distressed. It doesn't look as bad off as it does when you actually put them on. So I'm just going to show you guys the front. And then the back. If I were ever to do this video again, I would use a different wash. Like I would use a... um wash that isn't as streaky if that makes sense that's more like solid like this just because i don't really like the way it contrasts but that's why i tried it on these pair of jeans that aren't that important to me so that i could do it again and actually do it right but i'll include clips of me wearing the jeans and that'll be it
okay guys that is all i have for this video if you liked it be sure to like comment and subscribe also if you like this video be sure to check out my other clothing diy video where you can see me transfer a printed image onto my shirt using only three things an iron saran wrap and parchment paper but yeah that's pretty much all i have for this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace